So this is my laser, the five watt, <clears throat> five watt diode laser. I converted it to use the, the Creality 427 mainboard for the Ender 3. Um, obviously I didn't need all the ports. This one only has XY. I used um, the BL Touch input as the output for PWM. I tested several ports and that was the, that had the cleanest uh, PWM waveform. And I use one of the inputs as the enable, so or one of the outputs as an enable. So when I turn, when the machine gets turned on, the laser can't possibly fire until we turn the enable on, which is standard. Uh, it has the original, <clears throat> the original LCD that came with my Ender Three. I upgraded that one to the touchscreen, but it's not as good as it sounds. So to turn it on, <clears throat> to turn it on, I have the master switch back here. My little custom Marlin laser logo. So we can do all the normal things that you can do with the the uh, Marlin three D printers. Do motion, move axis. Um, I'll move X in 10 millimeter steps. I'll move the Y a little. Okay. I will do a test fire. We'll set the laser power to and then I'll just toggle it on and off. Um I'll do the <clears throat> I'll do the uh test fire. And I will now toggle it on and off, on, off, and a little pinhole right there. It's right about the right focus point. Um, with this setup, I have a Rock 64. It's like a Raspberry Pi. Um, that's actually my Raspberry Pi on the Ender 3. This one's the Rock 64 and it runs Octopi and it controls a webcam. Um, the webcam is looking straight down at the laser bed. So I can control it from the desk too. Um, Sometimes you, some of the Octoprint setups, you can put a, an LCD or OLED touch screen on top of the Raspberry Pi and you can have the web interface that you can use from any other machine directly on it. So I will show the web interface now. 